Welcome back, guys, to Finding Nori. Wait, no, I'm not Finding Nori, guys. I'm Trending Interactive Studios. I'm not going to edit it out. I made a mistake. It's Trending Interactive Studios, and I'm your host, Ben. And guess what, guys? Today is the spoiler review of Finding Nori, the Pixar Monster Cash Earner. The, it's just tearing up the box office, rightfully so. It's a tremendous movie. So, if you've seen my spoiler-free review, you know what it's about. It's basically about Dory in this movie, not Marlon Nemo, who are in it. They do play major parts of the movie, but Dory is the centerpiece of the story, and she's trying to find her family. So, that's who she's looking for. Her parents are Jed and Charlie, as you find out, down the road. And... You know, she forgets them, and then as time goes, little things happen that make her remember certain things. And, you know, at one point when she goes to leave to find them, Marlon was like, hey, 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 you know, we are, you only go across the ocean once, and that's it. You don't do it again. Um, and she looks at him, and she's like, have you ever missed something so much? You know, basically, was the gist of it? And it hurts. And he looks at Nemo. And, you know, they can find the movie Finding Nemo. And he and it just kind of centers on Nemo for a split second. And then back to Marlon. And he says, yes, yes, I have. So they go on the adventure to... Find Dory's folks and hijinks ensue. Um, you know, Dory being Dory, at one point she messes up and they're being, uh, they're really in the deep sea at this point. And these little clams, or I'm really sure maybe seafloor crabs or something, they're very quiet and they're on the floor and they just poke up for a second. And she go through, and she, they're going through there, and uh, it looks familiar. And she has a quick flashback of when she was a little baby. And, you know, she's like, Jen, Charlie, because he doesn't remember their names. And, you know, Marlon's like, you know, these little crab things come up, shh. And they're like, you know, Marlon's like, hey, Dory, you know, maybe we, we should listen to them. And she's like, no, 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 I, you, you don't get it. I just remember their names. Jen, Charlie. Jen, Charlie. And eventually, just the point where Marlon's like, you know, Dory, usually when things are doing this, there's a warning. There's probably some big monster, scary creature. And she's like, you mean something with like eight legs, big mouth, big, and he's like, well, that's awfully specific. And that's what he sees behind him is a giant squid. So they're making their getaway. They get away. Marlin actually gets a little bit hurt. Or not Marlin. Nemo gets hurt a little bit because of Dory. And then uh, Dory tries to apologize. Marlin tries to send her away. And he says... Dory, just forget it. That's what you do best anyways. Very hurtful. And that's when she starts getting down on herself and doubting that she can achieve what she wants to do. By the way, guys, the, the whole message of this movie is about not giving up. No matter what adversity you face, keep trying, keep trying. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. That's what we do. We swim, swim, swim. And that's what the, that's what the movie centers on. So... So then it fast, we'll just fast forward, you know, like I said, I'm not going to make this a really long review. So then we fast forward to, uh, she realizes her parents are with Sigourney Weaver in basically the SeaWorld style place. And she's got to find her place. And there's this really, I want to say mean, he, mean, he's grouchy, grouchy octopus. And he just wants to go to Cleveland. He wants to get tagged and go to Cleveland, so he's out to get Dory's tag that because she had been caught by the humans. And uh, 
So we'll fast forward. She meets uh, a whale friend from when she, remember, you know, she can speak whale, she told them. Well, she proves it. She can speak whale. She gets separated from them, from Marlin and Nemo. So now they're in SeaWorld trying to find, sorry, a place like SeaWorld, trying to find her. She herself is, you know, trying to find her parents or Nemo. Uh, uh, and Marlon, but mainly at this point, her her parents. Uh, at one point, she, with the help of everybody, she finds her parents. Uh, well, first she finds Nemo and Marlon in a pretty cool scene. Then she gets separated from Marlon and Nemo again. And she finds her parents, and her parents are all like, you know, you can't leave. And she's like, no, no, they understand. They're they are family to me. They're they may not be blood, but they're my family. I like you guys. I can't forget them. So she goes about her business, and uh, she rescues them with the help of the octopus and everybody else. And uh, they all work together, and there's a happy ending. And then. Uh, they're at the drop off. The movie ends when uh, she's with, when she's sitting next to Marlon. Uh, she she left Marlon. You know, they had, it was all cute stuff was going on at the end. And then she's like, "Well, I'm gonna go look at the view or whatever." Um, and he's afraid she got lost, so he kind of chased after her, at the end, and found that she really did know exactly where she was going, and he came up behind her real slowly. And, uh, you know, it was like, basically, you can't deny the view. And then, uh, let her know, you did it. You did it. I doubted you. You doubted yourself. I didn't help. I kept doubting you. And you succeeded because you never gave up. Even when you failed, you failed. And you failed, and you failed. You never let it get to you. You kept, you kept going. You didn't take no for an answer, like I won't on achieving my dreams here at Trending America Studios. And kept pushing for it. And guess what, guys? She, like Marlon said, she did it, and that was the end of the movie. I thought it was really, I thought it was really uh, an adorable flick. Definitely worth seeing. You'll laugh your butt off if you haven't seen it. If you've seen it, maybe go check out it again. When I saw it the second time, I did catch a little, some little things I didn't notice the first time. So, I would definitely recommend seeing it at least twice. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and share. And subscribe down below. We'll see you next time right here on Trending Interactive Studios. Take it easy, guys.